I know what you're thinking. Really, dude? Another Pentium 3? Do you really need another one? Now, the answer to that is obviously no, but this is way too interesting to pass up. There's a Dell Octoplex GX200. My former place of work, we used to have hundreds of these things. We used to deal with them on a regular basis, installing Windows XP and upgrading RAM and whatever. I've got a lot of history with these. On the surface, it is yet another beige box. If we take a look. See, there's the power supply, side mounting. This is one of these weird Dells. It's got pretty much anything you'd ever want on board. Serial parallel, PS2. Two USB, which are almost certainly 1.1. I don't remember, but they're almost certainly 1.1. Another serial port, VGA. Onboard Ethernet. There are your diagnostic LEDs right there. It's really old style diagnostic, but that's how it is there. And of course, your audio. Microphone, line out, line in. Here are your expansion slots, which are sideways, because there are actually quite a few of them. Looks like seven, which is kind of impressive. I don't think you get to use all seven, but there is that. It has this uh, wireless card installed for some reason. I don't know why. I assume it's a wireless card anyway. Not sure what fool would want a wireless card on a Pentium 3, but it's there. And it looks like an HP GPIO card. Not in the best of condition ever. See the side panels ajar because the case latch is a little broken. So you can just go ahead and pull this off. Dill was fond of this case design for a while for their towers. It's not a very good design, if you ask me. You can come in here and take a peek. Here you can see the GPIO card, and behind that is a Linksys wireless G card. So there's three slots, four, five. Yeah, you get five slots, so there's an extra two slots on the end. So it's pretty typical. It's more than you usually get with PCs. It's more akin to the PC5150. It is a socket 370 CPU. But, uh, right in there, that's actually RAM, that's video memory. It just uses a standard, looks like PC-133 so dim for that. But the actual system memory, you might be able to tell that is RAM bus. It's one thing that Intel was really fond of back in the day. We'll go ahead and we'll actually lift this power supply out of the way, which we can do with ease, just like that, and we can see it a little better. It's got 256 megs of RAM bus RD RAM installed. I could probably upgrade that, and I think I probably will. And, uh, that stick on the top there is just a, what they call a continuity rim or a crim. I think it's criminal that they charge that much money for Rambus, but anyway. That was one of the things about Rambus, is it was expensive to license, expensive to buy, and not all, not all that great, really, when you compared it to standard SD RAM of the time period. So Rambus kind of just faded away after Intel, finally, after having all the Taiwanese chipset manufacturers eat their lunch for years, finally released the, I think it was the Intel 440 chipset that they finally released that used SD RAM. And after that, that was pretty much it for RAM bus. These days, they're nothing more than a patent troll. So, as you can see there, that wiring is non-standard. This does use a non-standard power supply, so I'm hopeful that it works. You know, so. I have a hard drive, no idea if it's the original or not. 
it is, if I can see, 20 gigabytes. So it could be the original. But, do I see a Dell? Yeah, Dell part number. So that's probably the original drive. I imagine this is just a CD-ROM drive. The floppy drive is just above that. Again, nothing fancy. So, I'm gonna actually go ahead and fire up the air compressor, clean this out. I may pull these cards, because it doesn't really need either of them. And to do that, we actually have an entire tray which comes out and allows us to pull all these cards out. It plugs into that slot on the board. I'm going to take care of this, clean this thing out, and then I'll be back. and clean now and in its original state well almost I'm pretty sure it probably would have come with a modem but this is what we got so it's cleaned out and I also figured out why the front button for the case wasn't working I'd forgotten about this little nice feature so now it works just fine so I'm gonna put the side panel on, and we'll power it up, see what it does. Okay. All right, let's plug it in, see what it does. Set to 115. Comes on, sort of. Well, that's not very promising. What the hell do you say? Where are they? Right there. Hmm, we don't even have any LEDs. Okay, well that's really not promising. Is the power light yellow? No, power light's green. Okay, well, I wanted to do some, uh, some debugging here. Well, that's a bust. Complete bust. Tried removing the RAM, tried pulling everything else, still does not give me any reaction. And, even though I got a green power LED now, if I hit reset, it turns amber, never goes back to green, and, well, nothing happens. So, I think that it's a safe bet that the power supply is bad will be my guess, and given it's completely proprietary, and I'm not likely to be able to conjure up a new one, because I checked eBay, they're not available on eBay, I think we've got a very expensive paperweight sitting right in front of us. So, I'll dig around at work, 
And I think we might have a few of these still kicking around. See if I can rob a power supply out of one that's going to actually work with the system. But I'm not going to keep my hopes up. Okay, I left off with this Dell Optiplex GX200. We determined that it would not turn on. And what we determined is that even though the power light was green, it wouldn't do anything. You hit reset, power light turns amber. So, as a last ditch effort, because it really is a last ditch effort, it's not really worth investing any money in a new motherboard for one of these. I have a power supply. Now, it's not really worth investing money in a power supply either. But, once again, junk piles prove fruitful. And I happen to find a system that's actually sitting over there uh, that had a power supply in it that will work. It's the same model, NPS200PB-73M. And somebody is probably going to call me on this and say, well, hey, wait a minute. Take a look at that. It looks like standard ATX power supply to me. What are you talking about, this proprietary nonsense? Well, let me go get a standard power supply. Like, uh, that's the old one right there. Like this one. Just a random power supply. And we'll take a look. Now, I don't have, at least not handy, a power supply with this, which is the so-called P7 connector, so I can't compare that. But have a look at that connection here. And the wire colors there. Versus the wire colors there on the other side, and then take a look at the standard one. First thing you'll notice is the key pin is in a different position. And the wire colors do not correspond at all. Now, that's not necessarily the be-all and end-all, just comparing wire colors, but you could tell, obviously, that that key pin's in the wrong place, so it's not going to match. It won't work. It'll just end up blowing up your computer. So, direct replacement it is. Okay, take a look. Let's see, I've got everything now, once again, plugged in with the new power supply. I've got the connectors that I'm not using blocked off. Uh, this is a socket 370, which I think I mentioned. It is not a slot. Uh, there were some versions of this that used a slot, uh, but not of the GX200. I think the GX1 that I've got uses a slot, but uh, either way. I'm not entirely sure which Intel chipset this happens to be. Actually, I think it says Intel 820 right there, so this is an 820 chipset. Um, and I mentioned the video RAM there. Of course, the RAM bus, which I have changed. This is a different set of RAM bus, RD RAM, than what was in here. The one interesting thing about this particular Dell, the GX200, as opposed to pretty much every other RAM bus system I've ever seen, there's only two slots. I've never seen another RAM bus system with only two slots. Usually they have four. So, I'm not sure if that was cost cutting, if this was a lower end model, or what's going on there, but, uh, that's kind of disappointing to only see two slots, because that really limits what you can upgrade this to, because of course there's only so much money you can really spend on RAM bus before it just becomes uneconomical, you know. It's really too bad that they were the way that they were, but I'm glad SD RAM won out over them, if they were going to be like that, so. Okay, time for take I lost count, this time with a different power supply. Ah, nope, she's dead. She is very dead. That is a motherboard fault that we are looking at. This is a known good power supply. So, well, I guess that's the end of the line for this. I really was hoping that the power supply would have fixed it, but 
And it looks like we can't get quite so lucky. I wonder why that would be, why it would have such a problem. The chips are getting warm. It's definitely getting, definitely getting warm. So that's not what the issue is. Oh, I can't open that because the power cord's in it. Is the memory getting warm? You know, RAM's not really getting warm. Because it's RAM bus, it should get hot. RAM bus actually does need the heat sinks. But, uh... Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I actually, uh... Do not have any effect whatsoever. It's just... Just as comatose as it was. So... Well, I'm going to pull all the parts out of it, and uh, that'll be the end of that. As far as the CPU is concerned, because somebody will ask, there it is. Onium 3 866. So, yeah. Pretty common chip, really. So. Not too much to report on with respect to that. Hard drive, which is an original 20 gig. I think I went over that already. It's got a CD-ROM and the floppy drive. All these things are going to come out. And then I'll pull all the slot covers out as well. And the rest of this can just get tossed. So... It's an unfortunate end for what would have been a fairly interesting system. Just because you know, I've had a hard time trying to find systems with RDRAM that actually work. So, actually RDRAM period. Just so I can talk about it and maybe benchmark it a little bit. But Alas, we may never know. How about this one? 